Okay, guys, welcome back. So we're here in the Mizuno truck with a great friend of mine, Alex Thorne. Good yeah, to see you, my yeah, boy. Yeah, too, pal. Been a while. Uh, it's been a little while. Um, far too long. This is a big week, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, you know, three players in the field for Mizuno this yep. week. You've got Laurie, you've got Keith, mm -hmm. Marco. Yep. Um, so not, not, not the busiest week, you know, compared to what you will be like week to mm -hmm. week out on tour. But... Um, you know, just making those final little refinements, yeah. making sure the guys are dialed in, obviously, in such an important week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, little tweaks. Um, yeah, I mean, major weeks, they're not usually a load of work. It's kind of, yeah, small changes. Yeah. Um, fresh wedges um, for Marco this week. Uh, Laurie's put a three iron in, fly high. Yeah. Um, and Keith wanted to do a little bit of work on, on driver, spin-wise and launch, because just conditions-wise, it's very different to what he's used to playing in. In the US. It sounds like a very similar story here as we, we talk to some of the other reps. Fresh uh, grooves going mm -hmm. in, maybe some lower bounce yep. you know, options on some of the higher lofted mm -hmm. wedges, maybe swap swapping out a five or seven wood for a drive and yeah, that definitely. type of thing. But when you mentioned that you were doing some driver work with mm -hmm. Keith yesterday, that surprised me. That's that's a bit of a, a you know an unusual one to to be yeah. building a new drive or something very bespoke for the wind out here. Yeah, it's, I think he, he kind of noticed a very uh, a big difference in his flight and launch conditions from mm -hmm. the US versus here. I think he struggled last week um, right. over at Renaissance, yep. so he got in touch. Matt did some work with him yesterday, um, and it was pretty much a, a s similar to what he set up. He's got. He's just yeah. tipped a little more, a little shorter, and some more weight move forward. Um, so it's just playing about with sort of CG placement and more some more hot melt to not some spin off. So he was so he's an STZ guy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Did any of the guys ever think about tinkering with G um, for a week like this, where they, they allow the, the the weight to to kind of go up front a little bit? Um, no, not, not so, so much. much. No, most of our guys are, are, yeah. are all Z Z guys. Um, we've had a couple of guys sort of play around with the with the G, but they they've come out of it and gone into the Z as well. Right, so. Right. Um, yeah. So, so what was the differences, you know, weight-wise? Um, how much and you were saying sort of hot melted? Actually, uh, Chris had shared the video mm -hmm. with me of it, and, and just acoustically mm -hmm. sounded like a totally yeah. different driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's we've got the ability. So the, I mean, we've got weights here that they're marked up the same as the retail weights, but they're just slightly different. So you know, you've got a a 13 gram and a 13 gram. One's blue, one's black. They're two different weights. So right. just have to reference off the top of my head. 13 yeah, yeah. black mm -hmm. is three and a half grams, whereas the blue is 20. We got blue 20. Yeah. So it yeah. just by changing those around, it just means the overall head weight we can adjust with hot melt. We can move CG bit. and get spin down and. As you said, change acoustics and it just gives us another element that we can play with. Yeah, and that that's the beauty of doing doing these things right next to the range. We're we're, yeah. we're aside of the range here, and the guys can take it over and, and, and literally hit it, yeah. get their feedback, bring it back. Okay, a little tweak to, to to this and that. How much are you using that hot melt gun week in week out on yeah, uh, on the truck? A on, lot. on a driver, yeah, a lot, yeah, because it's just it just lets you play about with it so much. Yeah. Um, our R and D team have done a really good job in getting us some really light head weights as well. Right. So um, it just gives us more variations to play with. Um, I'll talk you through. We've got, say, slightly different to what we've got at retail. The heads are exactly the same. Right. Um, our CT measurements are a little tighter on tolerance, so we can track where a player's uh, CT value is going to creep. Yep. But we've got, um, literally, so we've got, they're both Z heads. They're exactly the same cosmetically. Mm -hmm. There's nothing different apart from internally. We've got a little wax plug so you've got this one's a double, so dot. double dot so this has got a wax plug back okay, here okay okay whereas a single dot has got more of a plug here so it just it, it we could do it anyway with the, the hot melt mm -hmm. but it just it just saves a bit of time and it's right. it's already in there done so got it just gives us a bit more built with with, yeah. with the, that weight inside what's uh of the double dot single dot options what's the the kind of preference for the players or, or does it split down the middle um, week to week majority of our guys are in the, uh, double. In the double yeah. um laurie's in the single with uh with how strong the woods have been the last few years how has it been for you as, as, a, as a guy who's probably built a million sets of irons a ton <laughs> of wedges now this is this mm. is a big part of it, you know. Again, Massive. for you with uh, with the woods. Yeah, 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 it's it's a big push. Um, Glad I mean, we we recognised internally that we had some work to do on the wood side of things. Yeah. So that was a big R and D focus, and the guys done a really good job on that. Is you know we've now got a product that really performs against anything else out there. Love it. Um, so yeah, day day to day it makes our job a lot easier. One what for are the guys building? 
We tend to have the two options that we'll go to. So you've got the 225 yep. long irons. Yep. Um, so we've got some of those right options and we've got the fly highs as well. Yeah. Um, again, something we've done a little bit different. We'll show okay. the camera. We've got some laser, laser numbered one yeah. irons. So there, it's it's a two iron. We've just stepped them back. So retail, we do 234. We've yep. gone 123 on here just to give guys slightly different option on the look. What are the guys preferring? Uh, a long iron as part of a set or, or a bespoke driving iron like a fly high? These have been by far and away the most popular. Well, you can see the number of yeah, heads left in the draw. Yeah, yeah. I mean we've, we have flown through those fly highs. Um, there's quite a few in play in bags that aren't on staff. Okay. Out there, so if you're having a look around, you'll you'll spot a few. Yeah, I heard there was I heard there was someone who's done well the last couple of weeks was mm -hmm. uh, was was rocking. Yep. Um, yep. One of the one of the HMB uh, mm -hmm. irons. What's unique on the truck? Um, what what sort of what do you guys have on here that are, are sort of the secret sauce to the the Mizuno Secret truck? sauce. Um, what is our secret sauce? You. Well, <laughs> other than you. <laughs> other than us, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's the, the, the machinery is pretty much yep. similar across most lorries. Um, some guys are digital um, gauges. We tend to prefer the, the manual. Um, you know, it, it's a little bit simpler. Mm -hmm. um, the pillar drill, we get a lot of use out. That's just removing head weight right. when we're building a set, just to you know make sure the, sp the swing weights are bang on. Yep, yep. Um, yeah, nothing, 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 nothing too unique. Nah. What did you call that one? The, the Delacruz. I mean, Delacruz. The Delacruz, yeah. yeah I, mean. So, I mean, that that's something that when you're measuring digits or, or measuring, um, you know, loft on, on the woods uh, and, and having it to the tenth of a degree, mm -hmm. um, yeah. making sure that you can replicate and stuff yeah. like that. I mean, those those it's tolerances, isn't it? That's yeah. what it comes down to. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like you said, whether it's removing weight, whether it's playing with, you know, custom weights and mm -hmm. then adding hot melt in so you can get CG placement where it is. It's... It's just just tight, tightening up those, yeah, yeah. those little tolerances it's, it's here and there. Very bespoke, and you know, guys are sensitive to you know tiny little fractions, and they yeah. can feel it. So you, you have to be precise. Totally, yeah. totally. Well, lad, thanks for having us on uh, the the truck. Um, it's it's always great to see you, and uh, we'll we'll definitely be back over. Try and get over to Bearwood to, to see yeah, the boys at HQ. Yeah, come down to see base camp. It's, um, it's a good setup. Excellent. Cool. Okay, guys, um, we're here with Al at the Mizuno Tour truck. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you again soon.